Life path number five, you're alive again. Something is alive again. Something is being resurrected and it could be a Scorpio. We're resurrecting the past. We're going over the past and going over it and over it and over it. I hope that you're not thinking too much, five. Uh, so here we go. So this is a, a, a set of readings that I've been doing for quite some time now. And we are sticking with uh, the energy of five that can also be known as a major kind of card of Taurus, okay? Um, so you can also watch it as a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or any cards that represent five. Also, your personal or healing year, as it is classed as, uh, is also five. If you can't, if you don't know what they are, please check Google or YouTube um, to figure out how to work out your numerology within your placements, okay? Um, but anyway, so we've got, uh, and then we're going to look at a tarot reading and also some channeled messages for you guys. So something is being resurrected. The, re the erection. Some, someone could be taking Viagra or the name Vi. Steve. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not. No. Um, it's something around um, Viagra. Steve Vi. Also, music. Something to do with around music and music and music. Guitars. Some of you might like guitars. Okay, or Tarzan or Anne, the name Anne or Annabelle, okay, something to do with around a doll, a doll's house, some of you could be looking into doll's houses, okay, it could be Elijah, all right, as mum, Elijah Dushku, okay, something around uh, the doll's house, okay, or something is around the house, it's like, well, I'm just around the house, it's like, well, I'm up the house, if you want to come and see the house, then you can come over and see it, so some of you might be selling something or buying and selling around the house, so you could be saying, look, if you want to come and see me, you can come over here. If you just own your property or something like that, you can come over. But also, there's an energy here that is saying around, look, look, if you want to come and see the house, then you're going to have to come and make an appointment in order to be able to come and see me. So if you're selling your house, then it could be something to do with around that. Okay, I'm also picking up six as well, something to do with around the family, which would be the six of cups or life path healing year number six. Uh, okay, um, but something around the family, something is being spread around the family around a house, a house and a home and a house on the hill. Something is running up that bill, I'm running up that bill. Something is, someone's running up a big bill of something. It's like, look, I'm gonna charge you for this. So I don't know, what is this electric and you're worried about your bills being, um, something around your bills, uh, the name Bill or William or something to do with around the bill, okay? Which could be the old bill, which would be the police. Someone around your house or your property, around the police. Okay, is what I'm hearing, because I'm hearing Roxanne. Um, also Neo, uh, which is Leon, which would be a Leo, um, which was the other song that Sting sang, um, but I can't forget, about a card reader, okay? Um, but Jacks, Queens, Kings, uh, Aces. Um, but anyway, something to do about a card reader. Some of you have got a card and a credit card, and you're about to make a major purchase on something. And you're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, going over it and over it and over it, checking everything financially to make sure it's in order. Okay, and we're hearing order in court. Also, for a lot of you, it is to do with the court appearance that you have to come up with. Some of you are also dealing with a Libra, and it is also to do with pride. There seems to be, well, I'm too prideful in order to ask. Some of you want something from somebody, and it's, it's, it's taking a lot of pride. So it's like, no, I'm too prideful. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. And uh, that's what I want. But some of you are too prideful in order to perhaps ask family, or that would relate to around six, uh, around asking the family for support and maintenance money or maintenance work that might need doing around the house. This could have something where you are asked and it's going to take courage to ask a maintenance man. I need to ask the maintenance man to come and fix things. So a lot of you yeah, it could be named Jim, but uh, again, like, well, look, I can fix it. If you want me to fix it, I'll fix it for you. But you're going to have to make the call or ask someone to fix this for you. Okay, so I think this could be a tangible obst obje uh, uh, obstacle that you might be facing, but an object, okay, but an object of something that needs fixing that you have to make a call or you have to ask the family in order to fix it for you. Now, if these aren't happening, there are possibilities that these could well still be predictions for you, five. Okay, because I'm hearing that something is coming back alive again. Some, like, live and kicking again. Like, kicking, like pregnancy. Some of you might be going for a retina scan, is what I'm picking up. Or something to do with scam, that you're worried about a scam being done on you. Okay, like someone pulling a fast one 
and not giving you what it is that you're buying, something like that. It's like, I'm not buying rap bullshit. So some of you, it is around a relationship or marriage or around Taurus energies, okay? Um, but I'm also picking up retina scan that we're going to have to go with. There's something to do with around eyesight or um, a retina scan that a lot of you have got to go for of pregnancy that you could, one, be pregnant to it is to do with a woman's cycle of your uh, organs, and that's an organ donor, or it is a lot to do with around Scorpio energy of four. So there could be around, which we did pick up through that, around things to do with things that make you go, hmm, the CC Music Factory, CC, okay. But the Music Factory, something is going around the factory, something is being spread around factory work, okay. So you might work at a factory, okay, or for CC, C and C and Co., CC Co, CC Co, Mexico. Some of you are from Mexico City. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, but something is also medical within an internal track, I feel, for a lot of you five. And I'm picking up five and four, which is nine. So a lot of you have got a lot of things that you're dealing with with your um, soul groups around denial at the moment, I think, or the name Daniel, okay, or Darnell, or Danny. Okay, or Danielle or Dan. But I think a lot of you are dealing with past reflections of going over it, of around that if you work at a factory or something like that, then someone could appear up in your energy of retrograde. Okay, so we're looking at, um, yeah. So there's something around um, an internal track, like someone's tracking someone, like watching them or... or <laughs> Someone's watching somebody or feels that they're watching someone or that they've got to cut that energy off or something around retrograde of the past coming back in order to haunt me. Okay, I'm hearing haunting. The haunting on Hill House. Also, have anybody watched that? The new one? The haunting of Hill House. So what happened in that? Hmm, I don't know about channel message wise, but the haunting of Hill House. No, that was the first one. It was called that. The haunting some haunted house, like Halloween, sort of Halloween, haunting on Hill House. It seems to be the last house on the left, or the last house, the last house, the last of us. Also, <laughs> some of you are playing PS4 or Xbox around um, horror films or a show around Libra. Show me and tell me. Uh... <laughs> Around your work, also, I do apologise for the dog, something has just been delivered through the door. Something could be delivered here, something like there's a, uh, something around pregnancy about it being delivered, like uh, a letter, or a baby, or a message that comes in from the past towards someone. Because I really feel like a lot of you are possibly going through retrograde. And it would be something to do with someone barking up the wrong tree, which would be around four. But it will also be denying someone around um, something being delivered. Like being that, that comes through the door. Because I keep picking up that this thing has to be fit through the door. Like it has to be fixed or fitted in the house around the door. Like you have to get it through the door. And say, so, look, I've got, got to get through this door. Whatever happens, I've got to get it through the door. I've got to get it through the door. Okay, I'm picking up measurements and something like that, or measuring. Okay, but uh, I don't know if someone's also going to come knocking at someone's door as well, whether this is a bay leaf, a tea leaf, or the past. But something has to come crashing through this door. Uh, there could be drug addicts and things like that that come crashing through people's doors. Okay, um, that we've gone over in other readings for people. Um, but something going through the door... Like walk on through the door, break on through, Jim. Again, is breaking the door in. Is it James or Jim? Is breaking a door. Breaking out with the doors. What? <laughs> breaking the door. Something's going to break the door. Oh, it might be something to do with the D A W, a D A, D A, Dan, Danielle. Or a DAW, which would be a, a music station, which is like, um, well, I use um, I use Ableton, but um, so you can also look at Cubase, 
B and Q, so it could be something to do with around B and Q, which would be ordering something from B and Q. If you don't have B and Q where you are, it's just a, a place that sells furniture. Okay. Um, but in a queue, I seem to be in a queue. Like, why am I in a queue? Are you in a pool queue? Are you playing pool? Or is your name pool? But something around uh, having to queue up and wait. But wait your turn. Just queue up and form an orderly queue. Okay, right, this is your queue and queue. <laughs> so some of you are going to make a speech about something or a queue. Accumulating something, you seem to be accumulating quite a lot of wealth. You or your partner around wealthy, healthy, wealth and health around form a queue. Um, but you've got this energy of something needs to be fitted. Fitted. I mean, these messages are not always going to be around your love lives, guys. I'm just going to channel whatever they are. They can be different at any point, okay? Um, but at the moment, what I am picking up is something that needs to be fitted first, like a, an outfit or a suit or a new article of clothing or something that needs to fit through the door. Like, I need to fit it first. It's got to, it's got to fit perfectly. So this is going to fit perfectly in here. I know it is. So you've gone over your details, your measurements, and you know that it's going to fit perfectly in your slot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's going to fit perfectly in my slot right so like someone's giving someone a plot or a slot it's like that if you want to come on i'll give you a slot and it can be at this time right so if you want a slot on my show or if you want a slot at this time i'll fit you in here there and everywhere so this can be you asking for someone's slot like have you got any time me as a tarot reader that kind of thing if you want my personal services they are below but kind of like that like, have you got a slot that you can fit me in at a time and so on and so on and so forth, this energy, it might be something being delivered. Uh, have you got a slot that you can fit me in for at this time, between this time and this time? Okay, so you're dealing a lot around patience, which would also be around Libra and also um, possible Pisces, because they would have patience, right? So also something to do with an orderly around patience of um, outpatience in Portia, the name Portia or Portia Patelli, uh, Portia or poor shell, me shell, um, but also um, a shell, also fish, P a Pisces, but like, um, can you fit me in? You're going to have to fit this in my slot. Some of you have gone try again. <laughs> oh dear, something going on around four, watch that one. But something like that, can you fit this in? Can you fit it in? It's like, oh, I'll shove that in there. So whatever it is, something's going to be shoved in an hole. Or shoved, I don't know if this is anything to do with around someone losing somebody. But I do have things planned for this channel. Please make sure you hit the bell and the show all notifications. Because I'm going to word things certain, so slightly differently maybe of something I've got planned. Okay. Um, but it will be to do with channeling. Okay. So, um, something around is like, you're going to have to fit this in my slot. Like, will it go in? So, a slot machine, gambling, Capricorn. Maybe. Um, taking a risk, taking a gamble. Can you fit it in? Can you fit me in here? Can you fit me in there? Like, what time can I come? <laughs> How long does it take me to come? Some of you are struggling to come somewhere. Whatever that is, I'm struggling to come. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to leave that one alone. Um, I don't know if this is anything that's going on medically or not. I don't know. And I think that's what's leading to some sort of confusion around a dry slot. Right. A dry hole. Uh, <laughs> um, what else have I got for you? I think I'm going to slowly dig my way out of this hole and uh, resurrect myself from something. So it's surround Scorpio. I'm going to have to dig myself out. Gonna have to dig something out first and find it. Someone's looking at buying something, but they're gonna have to dig it up. They're trying to dig up the past. Somebody is trying to dig up the past and resurrect it. Or with something to do with an erection or something like that. But like um Or like being turned on. Turned on, turned off, turned on, turned off, turned on, turned off. But that can have a lot to do with retrograde. Trust me, it really can have a lot to do with retrograde. 
Um, because it's your body clock, they're saying. That it's something to do with, let me hear your body talk, but your body clock. Something to do with a heart murmur also, maybe, or Emma. But a uh, heart memma, memma, Emma, Emily. But like a uh, heart racing monitor, monitoring something of like a cycle of a woman's cycle of pregnancy or something. But they're saying that it could have something to do with your um, cycle of... Uh, Stress, worry, panic, <laughs> uh, or um, medical. Um, around, uh, see, I'm hearing impotent or something. Because I'm hearing Emma or Emma and imp, gimp. What, what? Bring out the gimp. Someone might end up bringing out some sort of whips and chains or like putting a gag in someone's mouth. Like, shut up! <laughs> or like, just put this gobstopper in your mouth or something. Right? But I'm hearing, uh, I mean, listen, if y'all come to a medium, I can't help but just talk whatever this is. I, I, I don't know. But um, again, it's like this, um, like someone might start wearing some kinky clothes or something around... I'm hearing, I'm seeing like dark leather, something around dark leather, or heather, but I'm picking up, um, um, oh wow, ah, uh, um, oh, what is that song, oh, I'm also hearing heroin, because they did sing that song as well, he sung Walk on the Wild Side, do the Walk on the Wild Side, and all the girls go, do, 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 and, uh, he played that in, um, um, shining, shining leather, shining, uh, oh, what is that? Shiny boots of leather, shiny boots of leather, shiny boots of leather, shiny and happy Virgo, red rum, um, but shining, uh, shiny boots of leather, feel me, someone likes nice things, um, I'm seeing the king of pentacles here, of money. Could be around Capricorn. Um, but shining boots of leather. Something's leather. Or heather. Or morley. Maury? Maureen? Shiny boots of leather. What is this to do with leather? Leather, heather, heather, but shining boots of leather. Um, anyway, that's just, I'm going to have to keep this slightly short, but uh, we've got a new deck here. Well, it's not a new, it's an old deck that I haven't used in a long while, but I thought I'd bring this out in order to try and change things up a little bit. Uh, the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, okay. Um, but let's see, so for Life Path number five, what have they got coming up? For life path number five, show me life path number five. What they got coming up for November? Life path number five. Concerned, nine of coins. Being able to afford what you want, something very nice. Probably, probably difficult to get this person away from their books, from the work, from the works. Something is in the work. Something's being planned of health, of eating more healthily. It is something to do with your dietary system, of your diet track. If there's anything that's medical that's going on, guys, it could have something to do with your diet, of what you're physically eating here. Because they're saying that someone is looking up recipes of how to eat more healthily. You might be going through this with your partner, but if there is anything medical, because the Nine of Pentacles is also medical, which can be looking into um, pharmaceuticals and things that are more natural for you than uh, supernatural, right? So, in natural, right? In that, in that, or Natalie, um, but like natural, okay. Um, but like we're look, I'm looking into things to do with my health because if you do have any problems around a woman's thing, <laughs> it could have to do with what you're eating or that you are either not having the right supplements for what you like for what you're struggling with. It might be because your your diet is out of. Uh, what you're eating, they keep saying. 
Some of you could be buying a gift for someone or someone takes you out on a date and you talk quite a lot about health. Health concerns and issues also. Yeah, because this is someone that is also well to do, like quite well off as well. Someone that can afford to help. But is also very concerned, is also not paying any attention either. Is Because this person also has this way of being more concerned for themselves, which is what I always say is very good energy. And it can frustrate people when, they, when they're more concerned about themselves. Because if this energy turns into a denial energy of nine, and someone gets blamed for thinking about themselves, this person has a way of um, physically turning the tables of like, well, I'm more concerned about you. And this person's like, well, no, I'm more concerned about myself, to be honest. So <laughs> you've kind of got this like concerned energy of like, well, who's caring for who? Like, you know, if you're not going to do it for yourself, then I can't tell you. I physically can't make you do it. You know, if you want to eat healthily, then it's down to you. You know, but there, there is someone that is also studying something around health to help somebody here. It just depends if this nine is being turned around, around like someone can... Like is concerned about their money, like someone sees that, well, all you're concerned about is your money. So, <laughs> anyway, let's see. Uh, for life path number nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you might be dealing with a nine somewhere that is, is more concerning than a little, okay? Um, So also add up your life path and the other person's life path or people in your life's life path and see how that represents a code that represents, say, nine and your partner or your partner and your partner. What they add up to is what? OK, we can watch those. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's see. So for life path number five, what they got coming up for um, November for life path number five. Show me November 2020 for life path number five. Pisces, the hangman. Listen, I could do this standing on my head. This person's like, look, it's on my head. Someone's like, well, look, just give me some head. So someone's like, listen, you need to get yourself down there, bruv, or someone, right? <laughs> someone might need to be buttering someone up in a certain way. Like, just give me that, right? <laughs> Again, this person's like, look, I can do it standing on my head. What do you want me to do? It's like, well, I find this simple. And these people are like, bro, if I was like, this making me scratch my head, I don't quite get it. What can you do? And it's like, well, look, I can do any trick that you want. So it's like, look, if you want this, I can do it for you. If you want that, trust me, I can do that also. Someone's very efficient. Okay, but somebody does things standing on their head. They physically pull a dove out their backside, this person. <laughs> look, there's a dove. And these people are like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's like upside down. This person's like, look. It's not all upside down. It's, you got it back to front. You got it the wrong way around. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, I got my, I got my head on the wrong... <laughs> someone's like, um, I got my head on the wrong way around. Or someone's got things the wrong way around. It's like, look, you got things the wrong way around. I mean, what is this? I've got my feet the wrong way around. <laughs> so like, what, you, what have you got the wrong way around? It's like, no, 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 no. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's like, don't get me wrong. I love you and I'm here for you. But if you're more concerned about that, then <laughs> someone here is just is um, they can do things standing on their head. Basically, this person is very very. Um, this person is careless. It's like they don't care. Like these people are like, bro, like what is going on with you? And you're like, bro, nothing's going on with me. What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm looking at this mush in the background here, bruv. This bloke is like, oh, wh what are you doing? It's like, bruv, I am Peter Pan. I can do what I like. Peter or Pan or Stan or Dan. It's like, is that you, Peter? It's like, no, it's Pan. <laughs> anyway, let's see. It's like, why don't you grow up? It's like, no, I don't want to grow up. It's like I like being the way I am. <laughs> so, 
Anyway, let's see life path number five, what's going on with them through November. Life path number five, what is going on with them through November. So, well, I'm concerned you've got to go under the microscope, the page of blades. Okay, you're going to have to go under the microscope. It's like, what have you got? It's like, well, we seem to be moving, but it's going one slow step for mankind. It's like, what are you studying? It's like, well, I'm trying to study all this for you. I'm trying to do it for you. I'm trying to study. I'm trying to work. But this is also a book of mims. This is the Mad Madam Mim. So we could be slightly eccentric, a little bit like myself. Right? But um, this is going through books of uh, mims, of like dietary things, to uh, see what you can take, you should take, you shouldn't take. Okay? If there's anything to do with around this health concern you might be studying some other way of an approach towards it, okay? Because um, it's going to make you feel more comfortable. If you or your partner's on a diet, if you slow down slightly with what you're eating, like, I don't know, because I pick up that one might be suffering from that and one might not be here. But if you slow down a little... Like, if you're consuming bad stuff, if you slow down a little, it might help you speed up if you eat something more healthy. And on the other hand, if you uh, stop eating things that are so sluggish, then uh, it will make you feel better here or then. But, like, I'm picking up sluggish. Like, I feel sluggish. I feel stuck. Like, I, 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 I don't know if I want to come out... It, Someone's leaving a trail, because this is a snail trail. <laughs> or portrayal, or, or something. Because um, someone's concerned about this Pisces, and thinking, you know, how, like, I, I, want, I want things to go a bit more quicker than what they are. It's like, you know, I want to go to the next stage, and I want to go to the next step, and I want it to go a bit quicker. Or I want to see you a bit quicker. But it seems to be going going across a, a snail's pace. It's like, well, let's just take things one step at a time. Unless this is to do with medical. But um, Page of Blades, someone is like, I don't know, spying or watching even. Because it's like, well, I'm going to watch you carefully to see what you're doing. Because someone is in awe by someone that's watching here. This person is also shocked. This person is watching here and is shocked by this person that their eyes are focused on this person. So someone's like, I'm shocked by what you've got in your hand. What have you got? <laughs> right? So it's a fish. So it's like, well, what have you got? And it's like, wow, man, I am captivated by what you've got. And it's like, well, look, it's it's going slowly. <laughs> But I definitely pick up that this person, this girl, is in awe by what this fuzzy-haired, white-haired, <laughs> blonde-haired mush she's got. It's like, what can you do? It's like, man, it's like, I can't believe it. And everyone's like, look, what can you do? What have you got? Because I keep picking up like someone's like, well, I've got anything that you want. If you want it, I'm, you know, I've got it to offer you. So um, you've also kind of got this... Um, putting things like putting someone under a microscope of uh, like energy wise of like am I putting too much pressure onto you being focused on you all the time because someone is so focused on something where you've got masculine energy that focuses upon themselves as what I was trying to turn it around with at the beginning that someone has this way of focusing on themselves and the other person is kind of like well I'm just in awe waiting for you so I don't know if there's an air of frustration around a lot of pressure being put on someone of where it's leading to someone like, look what I can do. Like I've got all these things in my life going and I've got, you know, loads of stuff going for myself. And then everyone's kind of like, like, I don't know if I can feel this pressure being gained upon this person to perform well. It could have something to do with performance arts or performing in the bedroom or something. Uh, but like, I don't know if this person feels under pressure that, Everyone is like captivated by what this person has in a relationship here. It's like, well, what have you got? Like, what, what are you doing? You know, it's like, well, what are you doing? It's like, no, not a lot. I'm just like 
sitting here looking at my book. Is that okay? Like, what are you doing? It's like, man, I've got loads on. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I've got all this stuff. Let's see, no fucking five. For November. Red cup number five for November. Okay, wow, juggling. So there's the Libra energy here. Well, I'm just trying to work on it. It's like, again, this person is fascinated, but it's like, bruv, what, you got a squid or a melon? <laughs> or the name Mel, okay, or Kim. Okay, but here is milk him. It's like, what do you want to milk him? What, is he a cow? It's like, yeah, let's milk him. Let's milk him or Mike him. Mike, the name Mike. <clears throat> it's like, look, just end me the mic. It's like, bruv, drop the mic. I think I've said enough. So <laughs> you've kind of got this energy of like, well, what are we going to do about it then? It's like, well, what are you going to do about your health? It's like, well, feed me. You've got someone that feeds someone here. I don't know if it's bullshit or if it's food. Because this, this per these people are waiting for someone to deliver it. That's what I'm saying. These people are waiting for their food, but they're basically waiting for something to be delivered. And it's like, well, I'm waiting <clears throat> so it could be a baby that's on their way, a young child, page of blades. It's like, well, we're waiting for it to be delivered or you're waiting for some product to be delivered to you. And it's like, well, you know, it is coming. I know it is, but we're going to have to wait for it to be delivered in order to make things more comfortable. Because this page of blades looks a little bit skittish in a way. It's like, well, I'm finding it a little bit uncomfortable and it's quite slow. So when's it coming? And it's like, well, it's going to be here soon. Don't worry. It's going to be here. It's like, yeah, but it's slow. It's like, why isn't it here now? And this person's like, look, I, 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 it, it's out of my hands. I've got nothing that I can do about it. Like, it, it's, it's in the hands of the beholder. So again, you've got this energy of waiting for something to be delivered, but your partner or you could be getting frustrated waiting for it to be delivered. This, like I said, it can be around a baby as well, being born into your soul group at this time okay unless you're on the timeline of like you're like look you either choose me or them that's up to you it's like well who are you going to choose me or them and but i mean bro really i mean unless you're picking up a squid and a pineapple and you're like well someone's got a pineapple in their hand or a pine pine cone I don't know. I'm picking up on cones that you put in your ear hole, and you're like, it's like, what are you out of ear in? You're like, I oh, just got wax. Someone's got wax, or Jacks, or Jackie, wax in their ear. <laughs> it's like, bruv, didn't you hear me when I told you the first time? This person's like, no. <laughs> hmm. This is also being weighted on hand and foot. It's like, well, you have everything done for you, don't you? And it's like, well, yeah, I can afford to. Nine of cups, nine of coins. It's like, well, I can afford to do that. It's like, yeah, but everybody seems to wait on you, hand and foot. And this person's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> right? It's like, yeah, I know. It's like, well, they, it, you know, it's down to them. If they want to bring it to me, then they can. So you've got some sort of info. It's like, like if you're worried about something, you can bring it to me and ask if you want, because I'm juggling a load of things at the moment. But if you want it, then you're going to have to come to me and ask for it, because I can't, I can't do it for you unless you ask. Right. So that's your channeled stuff at the moment. What we do is this only goes to tier two members, but then we also clarify more cards, and then we also look into thoughts and feelings and what's going on in your partner's life also. But you can also find those same energies that are on tier two for your star signs. That is that isn't anywhere else. It is only on tier two. And that's the first of fifteenth, fifteenth to the thirty-first, okay, or whatever the month is. Uh, but then after those readings, I also did thoughts and feelings. Exactly that I will do through this reading as well. But for life path number five and also Taurus, um, what else is there? Uh, yes, yeah, so if you want to join tier two, that's where you'll find the majority of readings that you can't find anywhere else. <clears throat> uh, also, for those that have donated towards GoFundMe, I really do appreciate it. It's helping go towards this new PC that I need in order to start my career off. OK, um, so I really do appreciate it. A lot of you already know, but there is a GoFundMe link in the bottom where the email, everything is for personal readings to the link to Patreon, all that sort of stuff. It's all in the show more section. Um, 
And uh, I really do appreciate that. But like I said, on the other side, we do look into the rest of your reading, clarify it, then thoughts and feelings from your partner. Okay? Uh, and what go what's going on in their life as well. Um, so thanks very much, Life Path number five. And I will hopefully see you alive on the other side on Patreon. Thanks, guys.